Hey guys and girls, so in today's video, this is the uh, Elegoo Uno R3 uh, tutorial 3 video and we're going to be looking at RGB LEDs and that's one of these little things here. So RGB LEDs are a really fun and easy way to add some colour to our projects. Okay, they are like three regular LEDs in one um, and ha how to use and connect them is not much different to any other LED that you might have come across. Uh, they come in mostly two versions, common anode and common cathode, with common anode using 5 volts on the common pin, but common cathode connects to ground. Okay, so and as with any LED, we need to connect some resistors, some of these, okay, to limit the amount of uh, current being drawn, otherwise the, the LED could just go pop. Okay, uh, in our sketch today, I will show you how to start the LED in the red color state, then fade to green, fade to blue, and finally back to red color. It'll do it really quickly uh, so we can see all the colors that can be achieved with one of these. So for today's project, you're gonna need three resistors and they need to be 220 ohms. Uh, you're gonna need some male to male jumper wires so some M to M wires, they're the pointy ones on both end. Okay, and you're going to need your breadboard and of course your Arduino. Now if you've got all of these mixed up, so if you've mixed up all of your resistors and you're not sure whether this is a 220, okay, you can look at the colours, okay, using a colour chart, or I'll show you how to use a meter right now uh, to test. Okay, so we've got our meter, and what we're going to do is we want, we're testing for a 220 ohm. So we think this is 220. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it around to 2000. And the reason I'm using 2000 is if it is 220, 200 is going to be below what we think it is. So that's not going to really read properly. So let's see what we get. Touch one end to one side, one to the other. And you can see there we're getting 219, 220. It's probably just catching on my finger a little bit. Yeah, so that's, that's our 220 resistor. So you can also tell by the colours that are on the resistor. Um, but yeah, you need a little chart for that because I can never remember which is which. So there we go. Um, just use your meter and test it. Let's get the components hooked up to our breadboard and get the sketch done. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the sketch, but before we do, we need to be aware that this works using um, RGB, so red, green, blue. The reason that you can mix any colour you like by varying the quantity of uh, red, green and blue light is that your eye has uh, three types of light receptors in it, red, green and blue. Uh, your eye and your brain will process the amount of red, green and blue and convert it into um, a colour of the spectrum. So in a way, by using these three LEDs, we are we're playing a sort of trick on the eye. Uh, the same idea is used in TVs where the LCD has red, green and blue colour dots next to each other, making up each pixel. So if we set the brightness of all three LEDs to be the same, then the overall colour of the light will be white. If we turn off the blue LED so that just the red and green LEDs are the same brightness, um, the light will appear yellow. Um, we can control the brightness of each of the red, green and blue parts of the LED separately, making it possible to mix any colour we want. Uh, black is not so much a colour um, as an absence of light, therefore the closest we can come to black with our LEDs is to turn, uh, all, to turn off all three colours and just have nothing there. So that's sort of what we're going to be doing with this sketch. So this, the sketch starts off with uh, specifying the pins, which pins we're going to use. So we can see here we're defining the different pins we want. So we're going to define uh, blue on three, green on five and red on six. So that's where it's plugged into the board. 
and we then set uh, write the setup function as we uh, we learned in sort of the last lesson. So the setup function is here. Okay, and then um, we're going to take a look at the loop in a minute, but the, the, we'll take a look at the the actual last bit of the sketch, which is where are we? Line here. So there we go, red, green, and the blue value. Okay, and if we have a look at the in the sketch, we uh, we de 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 define variables. Okay, which we've got here. So we're defining each color of the red, the green, and the blue. Okay, so what that's basically doing is saying how much we want of each. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then if we come back, we've got a loop function. So what this does is basically for uh, integer, which is a whole number, i equals zero. So we're setting i to zero. We're then looking at i and seeing if it's less than 255, which would be the max brightness setting for, say, red or green or blue. If you've got blue set to 255, that's going to be bright blue. Um, so if it's less than 255, we take i and we increment it by itself plus 1. So if i is 0 and you add 1, it will become 1. If it's 1 and you add 1, it will become 2 and so on. And what that does is it will raise the brightness of the light so it will give it a fade effect until it's at 255 and then the next um, set of variables and all comes in and the, the next instruction which then uh, brings the next colour in and so on. So we're just looping through that. Um, so that's it for the loop. I'll show you this working in a second. Remember the sketch is in the description and the best way to get your head around this and learn is to download that sketch, play about with the variables, you know, change change uh, some of these numbers and see what happens uh, reflash the Arduino and see how it goes remember you've got to compile and then send it to the actual Arduino for a code change um, and that's it guys so yeah let's check it out live now okay guys and girls so this is it live you can see that it's fading between the different colors on the loop Alexa, office off. There you go, you can see that a little bit better now. And it just circles through. Colors come up to 255, and then the next color comes in. Okay, that's it. So I hope that's been helpful. In our next um, Arduino video, which I'll try to get up a lot sooner than this one, um, is we're looking at inputs so some buttons and some button commands so that's coming up soon we've also got the uh, Iron Man um, Mark 85 helmet build so that's going to be going through uh, the, the scaling of the model the laying it out the post processing the painting uh, the LEDs the whole thing so stay tuned for that and to do that just hit that subscribe button click the little bell for notifications so you don't miss out I'm also on Instagram now so that's AHC me UK at Instagram so link in the description please head on over there click follow uh, to check out some of the 3d prints I'm working on and you know just just it really helps me out um, you guys make the channel so without you this you know I wouldn't even be doing this so thank you very much and uh, I'll catch you next time